getting fun to kind of try to coordinate all this again is that after being gone for oh 10 days on vacation doing nothing literally just out in the woods binging and spending time with the Lord that uh, coming back there were changes that were being made in the process of development and so slowly today has been kind of like bringing things back adjusting them again, getting things organized, coordinating things a little better. <laughs> it's fun, but it's always interesting when you're redoing or restarting or finishing something or getting things going again because kind of like out of sync a little bit. But God knows, so he's taking care of all the little details and it's all working out. But in utmost for highest, do you continue to go with Jesus? Yea, they are they which continued with me in my temptations. From Luke 22, 28. It is true that Jesus Christ is with us in our temptations, but are we going with him in his temptations? Many of us cease to go with Jesus from the moment we have an experience of what he can do. Watch when God shifts your circumstances and see whether you're going with Jesus or siding with the world or the flesh, or the devil. We wear his badge, but are we going with him? Are we doing what he said? Are we walking with him today, in this moment, asking him, what is your will to do in this circumstance? Because you see, it's so easy to get distracted from what we think we automatically have to do, as opposed to what we should ask God to do. Any given situation can come up as soon as somebody asks you a question. Do you consider the Lord speaking to you in it? That you might want to kind of listen closely into your inner ear and see if God might have a different answer than what you normally would say. Because God customizes your circumstances for you, as, a, as he does for me. And in order to be yielded to that, we call it walking in the Spirit, but you have to listen also and you have to ask God to lead you in that. Otherwise, you're doing your own thing. And you're really not obeying, but doing your way based on your experiences. The temptations of Jesus, oh, we will wear his badge, but are we going with him? From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. The temptations of Jesus continued throughout his earthly life, and they will continue throughout the life of the Son of God in us. Are we going with Jesus in the life we are living now? We have the idea that we ought to shield ourselves from some of the things that God brings around us. Protect us from, you know, oh, well, we're in the church now, so we're safe. We don't go out there. We don't do that over there. You know, we're not one of those. You know, we're not contaminated by them. You know, we don't have any fellowship with those guys we have the idea that we should shield ourselves from some of the things God brings around us never God engineers circumstances and whatever they may be like we have to see that we face them with Jesus while abiding continually with him in his temptations they are his temptations not temptations to us, but temptations to the life of the Son of God in us. The honor of Jesus Christ is at stake in your bodily life. Are you remaining loyal to the Son of God and the things which beset his life in you, as Jesus is alive and well and living in you? Do you continue to go with Jesus? The way lies through Gethsemane. Through the city gate, outside the camp, the way lies alone, and the way lies until there is no trace of a footstep left only the voice that says, follow me. Sometimes God's going to bring you to a place where you have no other resource. You know, you could be part of a denomination or a non-denomination. You could be part of a support network or whatever. But there's going to come a time always in your life where alone you will have to stand and walk with God in some circumstance that he brings you to where you reveal whether the life of God in you, whether Jesus in you is speaking to you, 
or you're doing your own thing. When it's Jesus, it's easy to deal with. It really is. You just, well, Lord, I don't know what you're going to do, but okay. <laughs> Let's go through it. It's kind of kind of like, oh boy, you know, the water's, the water's nice walking on, but those waves look big, you know, and whoosh, splash, and dash. You're, you're drowning. But if you're only looking to Jesus in the first place, if he bid you come, you'll walk all the way there. And then you look back and go, I walked on water. Yep, you sure did. So don't be afraid of any circumstance that comes your way. As long as you keep your focus one-on-one -on -one with Jesus today, even though you may be tempted to turn it over to your own ideas or your own thoughts or your own to the left, to the right, to the left, right, left, or whatever it may be, you know, and you think you've got a handle on it because you're spiritually wise. But the genuine, mature Christian recognizes that the older you get, the more you depend on your dependency upon moment by moment with Jesus and not just an idea that you start your day and then run off your way. No. It's all through the day and all through the night. We are continually in fellowship with Him. If we are listening, walking, yielding, talking, hearing, speaking, and doing what He says to do. Because to be honest, if I was watching you, I would know when you're doing it your way. Let's try His way.